Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a special guest. We have Melanie Escobar. Dude, it already sounds famous. Your name? <laughs> <laughs> it already sounds super famous. Um, and today is we're gonna be playing with Soft Glam by Anastasia. And I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and get a model to do a eyeshadow look because you guys always see me doing my eyeshadow and it gets super boring. I know. So, <laughs> so I thought, why not? Let me bring Melanie along since you guys love her. Uh, um, <laughs> yes, and I love you too. Me too. Thank you. Yes. So we wanted to do this makeup look today. It's a really nice bronzy look. Of course, I always do bronzy looks, but the what, what was it? What was it like? The gold one caught our attention. Uh, yeah, these two. Amazing. Those, yeah, they caught my attention, so I was like, let's do it on Melanie, and I'm glad we did. So what do you think of your makeup look today, Mel? I mean, honestly, I love it. Thanks to you. I mean, great. Oh, thank I you, love. love. You, everything is amazing. Foundation, everything. Yes, we did a new makeup foundation routine that we absolutely love. Um, and I, love I can it. always count on Melanie to let me be my, uh, let you be my guinea pig. Oh, <laughs> Well, you guys, hope that you enjoyed the video today on this makeup look that we did. I didn't do the foundation, I only did the eyes on her, um, which we'll leave the foundation for a different day. Do you want to say anything at all? Well, thank no? you for having yes. me, Sandy, inviting me over. And I'm uh, actually super excited that you got to try this on She me. actually saw this a while ago, remember? I love it, yeah, yeah it's amazing. It's video. And she's a model, you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen her all over my social media because I blast her on there all the time. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, but she's gorgeous. Yeah, I have my Instagram. It's mm -hmm. Melanie underscore Escobar. And you can find me on Facebook as Melanie Escobar. Yes, and I'll link her um, links down below for you guys if you if you guys all want to check her out. Um, but yeah, I'll put everything there so they can check out because you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Hope that you enjoy the video. Bye. Introducing Soft Glam. I'm so excited to use this palette today. Um, this palette does retail for $42. It contains 14 eyeshadows. The shadow that we're going to use today for Mel's lid is Burnt Orange, which you can definitely find this shadow in your Mono Renaissance palette along with Cypress Umber and Tempera. Um, Soft Glam does contain six new eyeshadows, you guys, and the other five that are in the palette, you can definitely find them as single eyeshadows, which retail for $12 each. So for today's look, I'm going to go into Burnt Orange and apply this color as our transition shade all over her lid. Going in with Orange Soda, I'm taking this eyeshadow to blend out to Burnt Orange and use it to highlight the brow bone. It's going to also make her eye look a little bit more bronzy. For the crease, I will be using Rustic. You really want to make sure everything gets blended really well and just make sure you, that you can't tell where you started or ended with your eyeshadow. So just blend, blend, blend. To warm up her lash line, I'm using Cypress Umber and a little bit of Rustic and I'm just connecting the outer edges with her crease and just remember to blend, blend, blend. I am so obsessed with these eyeshadows and the fact that I've already used them before, um, so I definitely am comfortable working with these eyeshadows. So if you get the palette, you guys will definitely not get disappointed with using those shades. For her lid, I went in with bronze, and this is a new eyeshadow. Be careful though, because I did notice that it's a little bit chunky when I did use this brush, and it does create some fallout. I think this shadow works best with your finger, but it definitely blends out okay with the brush that I'm using. Um, I also was thinking I should have used a synthetic brush to apply it. I did also use a little bit of setting spray, um, but who can deny this beautiful color? It looks so stunning in person, and it's definitely a shade that I can definitely see myself using again. Again. For her liner today, I'm going in with Urban Decay's 24-7 Eye Pencil in the color Demolition, which is a nice pretty brown. Our favorite part, you guys, is time to use some lashes. These are seriously so bomb. These are Wink Envy in the style Reina del Sur, and we love them because they're so fluffy and so wispy, which is definitely my favorite style and taste of lashes. Now I'm going to go ahead and smoke out her lower lash line using the same Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil. And then to smudge that out, I'm going into Cypress Umber. In her waterline, I'm going to go into MAC Chromographic Pencil in NC15. Since we do have a lot of smokiness going around her eye, um, I definitely want to make her eye still look a little bit bigger. So I decided to go in with that. Eyes are pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and just clean off any fallout that we have on the skin and then we're going to start to do her foundation and we'll be right back with the finished look. 
For her lips, I'm going to go in with a MAC um, pencil, but I don't remember the name, but I'll link it down below for you guys. And then for the lips, I wanted to go in with something glossy and more nude-ish. So I'm going into the new Urban Decay's High Fine Shine Lip Glosses and in the style Midnight Cowgirl and then the color Fuel. And that completes today's eye tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. The only thing I forgot to record was me adding the Urban Decay um, Heavy Metal Glitter Liners in the shade Midnight Cowboy towards her inner corner. But that's basically all that I added to this eye look. Um, do I love this palette? Hell yes, I do. It's super beautiful. It reminds me so much of the Modern Renaissance um, palette already. Um, but I do love this palette and it does scream bridal to me. So I can definitely see myself using this for my brides this summer. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give us give us a big thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And that was a lot to say. <laughs> so I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one.